guys, it's Troy from Wash Ride Hamilton here. Um, just going to show you guys how the gun, a standard gun works. This gun's quite an old gun, it, it broke, stopped working maybe 12, 15 months ago. Uh, quite a while ago because it's still got the old fittings on it. But we'll pull it apart and as you see there's just some very basic screws. And the screws just really hold on the um, plastic cover. Beforehand I uh, sprayed all the screws with a bit of um, penetrating fluid, a bit of CRC or WD-40 works really well. Considering these guns were spraying um, sodium hypo, they do rust in a little bit. Now this gun is a Vega, uh, the model number, I think it's just a Vega, uh, I buy these for BE pressure. They are pretty much a middle of the range gun. They're good enough for the commercial use, but they're still cheap enough for a company like me that you know, has say six or seven vehicles on the road working every day. We do buy them in bulk. So we buy basically 10 guns at a time. Okay. So as you see, these here are just basic plastic coverings with the trigger. If we look at this trigger, it does have the, um, I guess it's a white plastic little dish there that does push against. Let's have a look. This is a gun. This is the trigger mechanism right there. So you obviously you push that in. Just pull the trigger. It is under pressure. We'll get some basic tools and we'll pull this apart. Okay guys, we've got the gun apart. As you can see, that's basically how the gun went like that. This here is just basically the nozzle. Pretty much the barrel with a nozzle attachment. This is just basically the shank with a swivel, high pressure swivel onto it. The shank goes to there. That is basically just a swivel with the hose attachment. So there's nothing in there to really that could go wrong except for the swivel. But I know the swivel's fine on this one. Now, this is a trigger mechanism. Let's have a look. Okay. So as you guys see here, this pin, it can come out. Now if you're going to rebuild these guys, Now guys, if you're going to rebuild these, I always use a little bit of silicon grease on the pin, not a lot, like almost nothing, just basically coat the entire pin up and down with a little bit of silicon grease. Okay, this here is the back cap. Okay, as you'll see, this o-ring here, this o-ring is purely just to stop the water coming back through the threads and pushing out the back. Okay, the ball seems fine. Have a quick look. <laughs> I 
Okay guys, so what normally goes wrong with these is inside here, you'll see where the, the ball bearing seats. Just like that there, it, it, it seats in there and it's blocks of water off from coming up the gun and out the nozzle. When you pull the trigger, this rod gets pushed back up through and it basically lifts the ball bearing off, off the hole, allows water to flow past it, but when the ball bearing gets pushed back, it gets pushed back into this conical spring, and this spring is basically the tension force which then pushes the ball bearing back when you pull off the trigger. So to basically to rebuild these, pretty basic, I just normally do the slightest amount, silicon grease, I then roll it over my little mat, try and get as much off as possible. Okay, then you basically just screw it back on, nice and slowly, and if you look up through the actual, as you're screwing, you look through there, you'll see the, the bull bearing seat over the hole, and that's exactly what you want. So as you see guys, I've still got maybe a quarter inch to go of winding this back up, but I'm already feeling the bull bearing pushing up against the seat and compressing that spring. And that's what you want. Just get your wrench. Nip it up. That's basically it guys, you get a little bit of thread sealing. Back up in there, another little bit of thread seal. Back up in there. Do them up, and that's basically your gun ready to go. Um, occasionally you, you will find, and when I say occasionally, it is pretty rare, maybe say, I, get, I find it twice a year through all my, all my rigs, so you might find it once a year if you're unlucky. Something, some bit of, could be thread tape, it could be anything will find its way through the system and will actually get stuck on that ball bearing or around that ball bearing and won't let it seal properly. So if I pull the trigger back, I can feel the ball bearing go back and I can feel it push back up. So that gun would be ready to go. Um, now in saying that, I'm not reusing this gun. This is basically a bit of a training gun for us and the reason I'm not reusing that is that after a while the sodium hypo it's very coarse it's it's a liquid salt basically so that coarseness erodes that bull bearing wears it down and it gets to a point where that bull bearing no longer seals properly and then you find that your unloader is always tripping and unloading back to the tank so that's what's wrong with this gun and that's why we won't be reusing it but um for me it's just a bit of a training gun that i use to train my guys but um if you guys have any questions about how these guns work um Pretty much nearly every gun out there on the market is very, very similar, if not identical, on how they work. So that's how, that's inside of a gun, guys.